Hi, I'm Victoria Lightfoot and I'm an instructional coach at Millbrook Elementary in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I'm a Milken educator. Right now, I still feel like I'm dreaming, even though I was pinched and I realized it's real, but when they called my name, I was shocked, taken aback. Um, I couldn't believe that all this was put together uh, in my honor. And as I'm walking up, I'm just thinking, I'm hearing my name echo, um, but I'm thinking this can't be real, this can't be happening, but it is happening. Um, you're being celebrated for your accomplishments. When I was in high school, um, I wasn't going to go to college because that wasn't uh, something that I saw um, as an opportunity for me. And I was a really hard worker and one of the guidance counselors called me to her office and said, hey, um, we have someone here from Slippery Rock University and they're interested in recruiting you to be a teacher. And um, I was kind of shocked and I was just like, okay. And so um, I did what I needed to do and Slippery Rock ended up accepting me into the College of Education program and that's where I really built my love of teaching. I um, mean, it was almost as if it was a natural thing for me to be able to do, um, teach and just learn. I'm a lifelong learner, so just learn um, the strategies and learn the curriculum to be able to support the learners. I guess I would like to share that education is so important and when we invest our time and energy and resources, we can really make a difference for students and a community and help them succeed. So I started off my career at a creative arts and science magnet school where we taught through the arts. And so arts is so powerful because it connects to students' multiple intelligences and their learning style. And it's a great way to empower learners to try new things and also empower them to just be engaged when you're um, integrating the arts. There's so many opportunities for different experiential learning um, and so many opportunities for assessments outside of the traditional way of assessing um, and you can really see what kids know on a higher order in a higher order thinking way. So I had a, a student-led classroom where students were sharing the responsibility to make sure learning happened. And so it kind of shifted my role from the teacher who knows everything, has all the answers, which we don't, right, because we're always learning, to the students really owning that experience. So what we set up was learning buddies. So each student has a learning buddy and they change throughout the course and they kind of are each other's cheerleaders and they're encouraging each other, helping each other, um, taking accountability and responsibility for their work.